Hey, what's up guys? Are you super serial here? And today, I usually don't do Minecraft videos, but today I have a map that's just so so detailed and awesome that I can't not show it to you guys. And it's made by this fellow right here and his wife. And tell us your name, fellow. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Morbid Fantasy here and welcome to Fantasyland. Uh, All right. The part created by myself and my wife in about three months. And um, how many games do you have? This is a mini game park, right? Like a theme park yeah, kind of thing. This is a PVP park. Uh, I don't have any roller coasters in here, and I got roughly, I think it's 65 to 70 mini games in here right now. Um, I continuously build in here. Every once in a while, if an idea catches me, I come in here. But I haven't been in here in a couple of months now. All right. So uh, tell this us how. Um, <clears throat> tell us how this like how you go about okay so you start off you ride this roller coaster and it'll take you down to uh this hotel right yeah the coaster when you ride the coaster it'll bring you all the way down and and you'll come out underneath the hotel inside okay. of it yeah you'll come out over in this area back here then you know he's only yeah, really going to show right us over here I'm gonna keep this unedited as much as possible because there's just so much stuff in here <laughs> that I just can't. I don't want to edit all all this stuff. Yeah, so this this is where that rail system comes out, and then uh, you come in here into the park. Uh, this is the hotel. I believe there's uh, five floors, 14 rooms. They're all furnished. Uh, there's two penthouse suites. We've got a little mini bar, a little uh, casino area over there. Um, yeah, through here right. we've got, we can either go to the mall or we can go check out the information and just get right into the park. Let's go to the mall and tell us how this whole, like, how the money system and everything in here works. Oh, okay. Well, the parks run on a, uh, a sand credit system that, uh, in order to, to get food or items that you'll need for particular games, you'll have to win. Um, every game has got a little... I don't know, kind of a little winner's box that you push the button and it gives you your credits. Uh, right here, there's a few signs that explains how the credit system works with the park. On a quick rundown though, it's just it's built on the honor system that you, you can spam the buttons and keep getting credits and over and over and over again, but hopefully you know, people will play it the way it's intended, and if you won, then you'll just collect your winnings, and the loser will just go off to another game. And you said there are vending machines, like, that dispense iron swords and stuff like that, and everything you need, they're all throughout the park, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all throughout the park. There's two malls in the park. There's one on one side and one on the other, so you don't have to constantly run back and forth between one mall. There's two malls. Uh, it, it does give out food. Uh, all the iron equipment you could need and diamond equipment. I don't do chain mail or leather uh, Because some of the games they do have equipment in them, but they're not If if you needed a sword, I'll give you a wooden sword or a stone sword It's up to you to upgrade to an iron or a diamond Ah, Okay, uh, and then you said that you said that uh, usually you would play this on like normal is it so you would lose health and stuff yeah, you could play on normal, you could play on creative, whichever you would prefer. Uh, the, bar the park is based around playing on survival. Um, so you can die and kill and whatever else the case might be. You'll also find uh, these little shops throughout the park that you can load up on food as well. So you don't have to run to a mall. Uh, this was one of the hardest vending machines I had to build. I had to build a, a 10 credit system only two blocks high. So I, uh, <laughs> a little tedious. All right. So uh, what's the what's one of the biggest? Oh, show us that um, this treehouse thing over here. Oh, the treehouse game. Ah, uh, this one's called Search and Rescue. Um, you have a rescue party and a headhunter party. In the very center of these trees, these four trees, in the center, there is a villager that is trapped. We just fly straight up here. My controller's acting This funny. This map is there just ridiculously go. huge, guys. I don't even know. Like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. It's very detailed. It's one of the best maps I've ever seen. 
Yeah, I, t I tried to make it as uh, scale as I can to each player. So anyway, in here you've got your friend, Fred, Bob, Bill, whatever you want to call him. Now Bob, the rescue Fred. parties. Yeah, the rescue party's objective is to go into each one of these trees. At the tops of these trees, there's a series of four levers. All four levers have to be activated and still activated in order for that iron door to open. The headhunter's objective is to stop the rescue party from having that happen. So they can re-pull the levers to relock the doors, whatever the case might be. You can either play it as the objective game mode, or you can just come in here as a PvP and just do a, you know, a 1v1 or 4v4, I don't know, whatever you would like. 1v1, god this is just yeah, awesome. You can, you can play it however you want. And then... Uh, there's not, um, not really much detail to the houses that are on here, only because it's, there's no point Not really it. needed, yeah. You know, I, I didn't need to put anything in here, because... I wasn't expecting anybody to hang out in the house and go to sleep. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Read a book, watch TV. <laughs> yeah. I, I expect a bunch of bows and arrows and stuff to be flying in here. It's a war um, zone. Exactly. Right beside that one is, you can see the village here that I had built. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Cops and Robbers. This is my version of Cops and Robbers. Uh, you've got a team of robbers and a team of cops. The robber's objective is to... Uh, break into each one of these houses and find 40 diamonds collectively between all of them. Uh, there's 50 in total in the map or in this game. So there is a little bit of leeway and the cops objective is to arrest them. And then uh, where do they killing. go when they're arrested? Uh, when they're arrested, if you go over to the little pixel art with the little cop head on it, uh -huh. everybody, sets their, everybody sets their spawn point in here. Um, oh, okay. Obviously, we have the little cells for the uh, for the robbers to sleep in. So that way, when you are killed, then you essentially you're arrested. Here. Yeah, you'll yeah. spawn in the little jail. Yeah. Uh, the cops will set their spawn inside the evidence locker. When you're killed, um, all your stuff that you were carrying is brought back to the evidence locker right where you're standing. And your team has the choice, because you can find levers throughout this map or throughout uh -huh. this game as well. So you can let your friends out and continue playing. Nice. Um, nice. You can also find a lever so you can get back into the evidence locker and get your stuff back. So you do, you can get your diamonds back. They're not nice. lost so you can still killed. Awesome. Yeah, so you can still win. Exactly. You don't lose them forever. So the other, exactly. cop, the other robbers can free the robbers that are locked up. That's right. And is it usually uh, just one cop or in like three robbers? Well, it's it's you have to have one more robber than cop. Okay. So you know you know you do yeah. a, a five on three that kind of thing yeah. back and forth like that. All right. Um, all yeah, right, the, so is there the game else? never stops. The only time it stops is if the robbers find all the di all forty <laughs> diamonds. Okay. Or the cops can arrest everyone, because <coughs> then there's nobody left, right? Right. All right. And so, uh, what's another cool thing you're proud uh, of? Oh, another cool one. Uh, zombie Apocalypse, I think, is pretty cool. If we fly, just keep flying straight. All right. This map is uh, so big. Yeah, that's a duck hunt map right there. This thing, there's Tic-Tac-Toe, there's a Pac-Man, which we'll show you up here after this. This one is a zombie apocalypse. Um, wow. <laughs> it's, right now, it's a fight for survival. Every single one of these buildings is fully furnished. Um, and, and there's not much of a storyline to it yet. I'm going to put like a little type of story to it. I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe you're a cop that you got to come in here and try to find your family or rescue yeah. your family or that kind of thing, right? But there's two sides to it. We've got... You know, obviously the working side. Oh God, um, lag. Oh there yeah. Oh, there. Oh. I think it's. There we go. Okay, so we got the we got the working side. We got the hospital. Uh, there's an apartment complex, shop shop, and this is. Uh, remember, guys, this, this is all built just by him and your wife, right? Yeah. There yeah. I'm I'm mainly just the builder, and my wife is the. Oh, uh, uh, interior designer for me. 
Nice. Um, and then over here we have the residential area. There's a school. There's a, a bar or a pub. And then uh, four houses. School and bar. Again, everything's fully furnished. Everything's fully functionable. <clears throat> Right, right now, it's just a fight for survival. So you'll see that there's pressure plates along the ground. Uh-huh. And there's, I think there's close to 100, 100 dispensers throughout this game that will fire off at different random times. Nice. Uh, depending on which pressure plates you end up hitting. This is just so but complicated. And then you said that this map, uh, what, what, what are they supposed to do if they want to play on this? Do they just message you? Or... Yeah, you could just message me right now. Uh, I'm going. I'm planning on setting up a download link eventually. I don't know how to do it right now, so I have to learn more about it. So, you, know, you just All have right. to bear with it. Watch the videos or send me a message. This is uh, the even if you have any gamer tag, if you want to send it. Yeah, you send me a message. Uh, just please add the fact that you saw the video. Um, and that you would like to play in the park. Don't just send me random friends requests because I, yeah. I usually, I usually uh, uh, block the person right away because I, I don't like that. <laughs> right All now right. I get a lot of random friends requests. So, so don't send them a friend to, request if you want to play it. Just send them a message. Yeah, attach a message or something. And say I, that I, I sent you. There you go. Perfect. You go. Yeah, you saw the video on Serial's uh, channel and yeah. you'd like to come in and check it out. 